Uh, we, this is Catwoman number one by Jorel Jones. I think she is like January Jones's kid sister or summit. And as you know, I love January Jones. So let's see what her little sister's comic book work is like. First up, you'll have noticed straight away, you're probably all laughing at this major goof here. The DC comic book company, they have gone and they have made a Catwoman comic and they have forgotten to actually print a cover for it. Like, look closely, there's, there's no cover here. It's just all white. They forgot, they actually forgot to print the cover. But the actual cover references Tom Queen Batman story, so this mistake here is easily the better option. Well, that makes this whole endeavour of tracking down the blank cover pointless, doesn't it? The other thing is, unfortunately, they couldn't forget to print all the stuff relating to Tom Queen and his failed Batman wedding inside the comic itself. The story here is that there is this fake Catwoman poser and she's gunning around and shooting things with a gun. And we've got a set up for a fairly obvious story here where the real Catwoman has to come out the shadows and face her imposter. Uh, this is written and drawn by Jorel Jones and I think people generally quite like it. I just think it was incredibly unfair to both Jorel Jones and the Catwoman to spring this ongoing series only after Tom Queen trashed the character. He had Catwoman do a jilt of Batman. She left him at the altar. And even if you are a big Catwoman fan, it's hard to really look at the character the same after she has emotionally manipulated and broken a man's heart like that. She's alone now and a lot of it is avoiding the issue and unintentionally making Catwoman look like a bit of a remorseless bitch. And the times it does address it head on, no matter how hard Jorel Jones tries to justify it from Catwoman's perspective, it all just feels like defensive flinching without... All the unfair Tom Queen baggage, this Catwoman comic would likely be a lot easier to ride with. That might be a pun because she is on a subway here. But it feels like it's both tiptoeing around the elephant in the room and also of the mind that there isn't really an elephant in the room to begin with. So there's this odd woman, right? But she's wearing loads of makeup and looks passable. But then she takes it all off and she's really like a proper ad woman. She's ad and decrepit and she's like a proper ag. Uh, reminds us of me mum actually. And she she has hired the fake cat woman for some it. And then the real cat woman, she gans home. And this comic is very, very decompressed as well. Uh, Catwoman, she gans home and she has got a package from Jarvis and it's her Catwoman suit and she does a cry and then we have got a good splash page of Catwoman, the real Catwoman uh, that would have probably been a better cover than some meta reference to Tom Queen so then Catwoman, she confronts the fake Catwoman, the pretender and they have a fight but then she chases her with her legs, and then right at the end, there is loads of Catwomans. Maybe Batman, he should have tried to marry any of these ones instead. I mean, some of them look quite pretty. It's hard to get a reader invested and caring about a central character when they have been so profusely destroyed by another writer. I feel no sympathy for Catwoman. I didn't relate to her. Part of us... Part of us wants to see her suffer in some way for what she did to Batman. I mean, you have a character betray and exploit one of your flagship heroes like that. It's going to be a long, long time until she can claw back some respect. Uh, maybe another pun there, because she's got like claws and that. Jorel Jones, she does seem to be approaching it from the whole... 
Wow, I really can't acknowledge that shit show too much. School of writing. So that's probably a good thing. And at least this whole series isn't trying to say that Catwoman was in some way right to break Batman's heart. I don't know who this can really appeal to though. I mean, it's spinning out of probably the worst thing to be done with Catwoman's character ever. And no matter how much better this is than that, it's always got that enormous noose around its neck. It's like that Flask comic. Uh, and honestly, I probably prefer the first issue of the new 52 Catwoman anyway, because at least that one, it ended with some softcore porn with Catwoman banging Batman. But this... This this is mostly okay if you just want to pretend that the old wedding storyline never happened. I rate this seven thumbs up.